Welcome to the Retrospect Podcast, a show where people come together from different walks of life and discuss a topic from their generation's perspective. My name is Ian, and as always, I'm joined by Stoney. Hello. And Jason. Hello, everyone. So, man, here we are at the end of the year. End baby. of the year end special. The year. And I have to say this. We do. We did this last year and had a lot of fun. We mm-hmm. did the end of the year special, had a lot of fun. Right. Um, and I have to start this off with this cup of coffee as one of being the highlights of this year. Right. Oh, Man. really? Oh, yes. The, this, this studio is amazing. <laughs> yes. I mean, great, great cup of coffee. I, I will say um, I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. And, uh, you know, Ian is enjoying his new super duper espresso <laughs> machine that he right. got for Christmas. And uh, he brewed us some really wonderful coffee yeah. to start off this show. It's and a nice latte. It's, yeah, it's with, a uh, great latte. Yeah, it's actually a Starbucks holiday blend, yeah, I believe it was yeah. used. Correct. And uh, I'll tell you what, very, very good. And if we're uh, going to mention plus. Starbucks holiday blend, we need to also mention Fair Life. Oh milk, yeah, right. Because right. the milk, oh man, this thing is good. It's yeah, really this good. Is really good. I, I, yeah, I like Fair Life milk. I think it just has a better texture than some like lactose free milks. Um, and, and Jason mentioned something earlier while it, we were watching Ian prepare these wonderful coffees. He looked right. like a mad scientist, <laughs> and he was in his zone making this yeah, coffee. The, the only thing he was missing was a bunch of test tubes in right, front right, of him. Right. But that machine kind of uh took the place of I that. I need my, so. my white lab coat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's all I need. Um, yeah. So for those, for those listeners that may not have tuned into so, some episodes of ours, um, uh, my fiance and I, this Christmas told each other, we're not going to buy each other Christmas presents, but we were going to set money aside and go have these on an espresso machine that we've been kind of, uh, this uh, thing is amazing looking. We've been really looking forward to buying this machine for a long time, but it's one of those things where like, it's just, it's just out of your budget for like every day, uh, spending on things mm-hmm. like, you know, like you, you could probably splurge on buying yourself some new shoes or some clothes or sure. maybe, a um, you know, something that messes up with your car or whatever. But with something like this, it's like, we don't really need the machine, but damn, do we really want Man, that machine? Yes, well, yes you so, do. And yeah. guess what? So do we. We want you to we have it We want too. you to have it so you can keep <laughs> brewing coffee. Right. And since we're going to be brewing coffee, now right. we touched on this matter uh, a few episodes back when we're talking about coffee. But the coffee master. I think episode. I think I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to go buy some of this most expensive coffee in the world. <laughs> just Kopi to Luwak. say, Kopi Luwak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just to say that I've had it, so I'm going to probably end up spending way too much money right, right. that I could spend on something else <laughs> for something I'm gonna it's gonna last me well, for I, a little while. I tell while. you what, if you share, I'll chip in. If, okay. if we bring well, it up I'm here and we let here. the coffee master I'm bringing um, it to the I'm bringing it here to the studio. Gonna, it's gonna right, be right. the official coffee of this podcast. Okay. <laughs> oh please no don't do it. I'll say that <laughs> So we'll get the coffee oh, master man. to brew so us up. So now I am going to buy that so we can all say we have had the most expensive cup of coffee in the world. Right. My, it's a bo- it, you check the box. Of course, yeah. Sure. I, bucket I, I list. Say, bucket, oh, wait. Wasn't that a movie? The bucket it was, list? It was, yeah. made it was on the bucket list. It was on the bucket yeah, list. Yeah. That's actually kind of the reason what like propelled it into its fame was that sure. movie. Mm-hmm. But that was my, a great movie. Too, my contribution is I will, buy a, I will buy my favorite medium or, or medium to dark roast coffee that we can compare it to okay right. I, I think a, a lot of times tasting it, it works best if not in a vacuum where you have well, like something no to compare doubt. it to i agree okay. with that. so we, we can right. we can have two of the same yeah. cups of coffee and and go like this is what conventional coffee i don't want to say regular because i don't want to i don't want to mm-hmm. diss it too bad but this is what like conventional coffee would, would taste like versus what are we getting out of this super a- expensive, exotic yeah type coffee what is it called? A delicacy. You know? A delicacy. Yeah, like it's a, a niche. It's a little little niche. So, anyways. Well, I can't it, imagine it being a very big niche when it coming out of a cat's mm. butthole, but, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, supposedly, uh, I, I, I Googled this and found this company uh, that offers this product. And uh, supposedly, you have to kind of watch how they harvest yes. these beans because sometimes they... In these countries, they're they're 
they're trapping these animals, they're putting them in a cage, feeding them these coffee berries where they're digesting this out right, right. instead of actually taking the time the way it used to be where they would go out in the wild and right. find the, the, the fecal also, matter where the, the, the kind of the discussion goes amongst the community is like whenever you trap one of those, I think they're called civets. I think is the, I think so. Is yeah, that sounds is, right. Is that um, whenever you trap them and just like force feed them a bunch of them, does it does it have the same outcome that it would if it had like a balanced diet right. plus eating the regular like where wh- again there's no real science on this so like what is the magic of making Kopi Luwak what it is um i can't i i, I will I'm, I'm, i will we're, tell we're going to have some so I will just tell you. get ready and to our listeners out there where else do you get this kind of knowledge I don't except know. Right. from this podcast <laughs> i've right? learned more about coffee here in the last few <laughs> I just, I, to be honest, I really never would have thought I would have been talking about Kobe Loak again because uh, it's been a long time since I've had a discussion about it. Because again, you know, yeah, we've well. kind of given up on it. But I love how the funny thing is, this is the real crazy thing is that you and I talked about, we all talked about right. this on the Coffee Master episode a handful of weeks ago at Mallory's family Christmas. My fiance were there. <clears throat> she has somebody a, had it she, no she oh. has a uh she has a cousin uh-huh. and her husband and i were talking um and he got out because uh w- one of the gifts that i got them well they d- they just got married and they're moving into their new place and they love coffee but don't have a whole lot of uh paraphernalia and stuff okay. for it so for for christmas i was like mallory it'd be nice to get them like a little uh like a pour over decanter with some filters and like if we want to like I can like show them how to do it or whatever, okay. but like it is something that they can make, make it special. And it's something interesting. It's the same one that I have in there. Um, super affordable and it's a nice gesture and a nice gift. So as I was talking to them, like showing them how to do it or whatever, <clears throat> he brings it up. And he's like, is it their coffee? That's like, that like that like a monkey eats or whatever. <laughs> and then, and I, and Everybody like, always says a monkey. a monkey. I thought it was too at first. Right. And then and then I and then I, and then of course we're here at Christmas and I'm like oh, I literally didn't think not only did I not think that you would have brought it up in the episode. That's actually it's kind of interesting that you, you brought that up. But the fact that he did too and I was mm-hmm. like I've had this conversation now within the span of like 2 months or so. You're meant to have this coffee. I don't oh, think that's man. true. You're oh, meant to man. have this coffee. coffee that's true. I really think this is the stars are okay. aligning here. Okay. Well, okay. Alrighty. If I have it and have some sort of out of out of body experience, then of course I will I will eat my words and say you were right, Jason. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> I think, On the air? I think I think I will. I think it's okay. going to be a good thing. I think it's going to be fun, <laughs> and that's one of the things about this podcast I really like is we get to talk about different things, try different things, and just experience them from our generation's perspectives. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, this year, it, um, excuse me this this oh. episode is our year in review. Um, Jason was was not with us last year, so we, we're right. glad to have him this year. Um, that's one of the highlights of this year is boy time has flown. Yes. When did you, I, I don't know the date exactly. When did you start? I started, it's been, was it September, October? Five or six episodes now. Really? But that's, what's really neat about this is we get, we get just different things and we get to talk about them and, and people are really encouraged by that. And we get a lot of feedback from people, but this year has been a year of a lot. Oh yeah. Ups and downs. Just a lot. Um, Miranda and I were talking the other day. Um, we've been married for, um, since July the 24th. Uh, oh man, you're six months. Getting close. Yeah, right. know, five yeah. months, maybe something like that. <clears throat> wow, um, how much has happened to us in the two years that we've been together or even the five months that we've been married? It's, it's like we got 15 years worth of stuff rolled up into two uh, yeah. years. And, um, but this year has just been impressive for just about everybody, um, personally and nationwide and worldwide. Oh yeah. Um, what are some of the things, you know, maybe in your personal lives right now for this year in review, can we start with that? You know, what's happened to y'all that stands out? Oh man. Oh, gosh. I mean, mean, I, I've, I experienced, uh, uh you know, uh, some losses, uh, this year I had two. <laughs> friends of mine that, that, that I attend church with that, that, that died this oh, year. Yeah. And, uh, so, you know, they're, they're going to be missed. Yeah. Uh, beautiful souls. And, uh, so, uh, you know, life goes on. Um, 
you take the good and you right, right. You carry that mm-hmm. with you and you move on. But uh, those two things kind of jump out at me that I lost this year yeah. personally. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah, I lost a really good friend too. Um, I've lost a couple of friends this year, but one really, really close friend, Rob. I'm thinking about you, buddy. And um, it's been a tough year for that. Um, mm. I don't know. Have you lost anybody this year? Um, not anybody uh, like like that that was okay. like really close to me in a certain way. I, I've I've been. Um, I have attended a handful of funerals for people that were like family members of friends of mm-hmm. mine. So like that kind of stuff. But right. the big thing for me that like the big, big thing for me that sticks out this year was the first week of September. Not only did I get a chance to go to Disney world again and have some of the best food I've had in a long time, but also got engaged as well, which yes, is like something I planned right. for a long time. And, uh, that's a pretty good event. for That's you. right. That's, right. That's big. Yeah. yeah. That, that's like, that's the biggest one. Like I said, there's a lot of, like little minor victories, I feel like that happened. You, you did this in Disney it, World, yeah. Well, well, yeah. We weren't in like any of the any of the uh, in, in the parks, but we were in Disney Springs, which is kind of like the like the mall adjacent. To, and to this, you planned like you set it all up, or was it kind of more um, of a random? Kind it was of kind of spontaneous. It was kind of random, little spontaneous. Uh, we the first day we went there, we went to Disney Springs and we found this really nice Italian restaurant, super beautiful. It was really awesome. And then by the end of the trip, we fell in love with so many things about Disney, but we really, really loved that one restaurant we went to right at the beginning. So I convinced her to go back. And then when we did, I I proposed Mm -hmm. to her there at the very end of the trip. So we had this entire trip. It was really fun. We had a chance to relax and just be ourselves and just have this chance to kind of be together. And then the cherry on top was the, as we were, we literally had to, we were leaving the next morning to go uh, back home. Mm-hmm. And so it was a, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a super cool trip. I, I, again, also with COVID, um, and a lot of the restrictions on stuff the past, uh, year and a half, two years, I didn't travel at all really, because again, the work that I do, I'm really needed here. Um, and if for whatever reason I was to get stuck somewhere else, that would be like really, that's like a real worst case scenario. So like, um, I didn't travel at all out of like a supreme, uh, caution uh because i was like i really can't get stuck somewhere because of like uh like a two-week hold on something so at by september of this year both her and i felt confident enough that we could fly to disney um go on a trip and feel like we're not gonna get stuck there and and that was exactly what what uh what didn't happen we Mm -hmm. like we definitely had the whole trip came back and everything was fine i was like oh it was so good to have a vacation again because i hadn't hadn't really left the the state that we're in in two years, maybe more, maybe more than that, right. like three or four, because it's it had been a while since I had a trip either. So, anyways, it was. Amazing. I think for me, obviously recovering from a stroke. Oh yeah, over a year a, ago. Yeah. Um, them finding uh, unrelated brain tumor. Um, yeah. Getting to marry Heidi doctor three days before the surgery, and then going into the surgery and recovering so well that everybody is just blown away by how fast the recovery is. Um, I think they've even mentioned at my work how fast the recovery was that they expected me to be out for 12 weeks, and I was back at work in 30 days. Right. And um, I think that's... You want to you talk about a snowball of events that, like, ended in a not catastrophic way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was yeah. like that. It, it just felt like it kept compounding so many things. You're like, oh, man, like, what's going to happen? Well, yeah, so that's what well, I, I thought. shared with I, y'all the whole timeline yeah, right. in one of the last <laughs> yeah, episodes, yeah. and y'all were both like, wait, we it, didn't yeah. know that from an from a yeah. anesthesiologist not showing up to then becoming a botched surgery, oral surgery, to a stroke. To uh, a brain tumor growing crazy twelve percent in six months and you know everything, but it uh, it uh, we made it. Yeah, That's we right. made it, and and I got the most amazing group of friends, the most amazing people at my job, right, and the most amazing woman, yeah, and the most amazing God, right, and that's just how I have to look at that, and personally. You know, it was all right. What yeah. about you, Jason? What? Any, well, you know, I think about the the start of of twenty twenty two. Actually, started with me having COVID. 
No. <laughs> wow. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. I, I started. I, I had COVID the very beginning of January of in two thousand of this year. Yeah. And uh, it was the uh, Omicron yeah. variant when that was going around, and I had had the vaccine. So. Um, Yikes. Uh, uh, I, that was the second time I had it. Ugh. So I had the original, and then I came down with this again. COVID-2. COVID-2. <laughs> the, the sequel. So <laughs> I've been lucky uh, so far. And you made it through. I made and it through. And we still have you. I, and... I'm still here. And, uh, you know, I got to go to, um, uh, I did a, a wonderful vacation race with my friends in Yellowstone National Park. Wow. First time I've ever been there. Uh, got to see some beautiful sights. Uh, it snowed oh, that on me cool. in June, which anyway, is wait in June in June. Yes, and it snowed all day long. Wait, my last year in Colorado, <laughs> I, I I left in July, and we were still snowmobiling no, in uh, July. Yeah, stop so um, stop. so that was a good trip. But I, actually, while we were there, that's when the big flood happened in in the park. They had to shut down the park, so they mm-hmm. they all end up booting us out the park and uh we end up spending the last part of the trip actually in idaho seeing some pretty beautiful sights out there so we got to see some parts of the country that probably we would have missed Mm -hmm. uh if the park would have remained open so but got to see some really beautiful sights and uh but overall 2022 has been a good year now you got to do something that you've kind of wanted to do and been interested in too right exactly and lo and behold I'm now part of this podcast, right. which is something I've always had an interest in. I never really thought I would find the avenue yeah, to right. kind of to do one. I, I kind of thought maybe I'd start my own and kind of see where it would go. But right. this opportunity fell in my lap, and I've been blessed to 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 be a part of this podcast. Okay, and it did not fall in your lap. I picked it up and threw it on top of you. <laughs> yeah, you know, Stoney kept saying you need to really think about being the pod. I think of me and him. You were talking about some, like I think I was talking about the Graham Hancock stuff, right. mm-hmm. and and it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I think you would do good in the podcast and stuff like that. Fun. So, mm-hmm. um, I can't believe that I I, I can because I was there, and but it's I can't believe that. Um, that earlier this year we had X Men and and, right. the, and the whole transition happened um, around the start of the year uh, or around like the the kind of Easter time. I I just forgot that was early this year. It just feels mm-hmm. like it was so long ago. Right. It, it feel. But when did he? When did he? It was uh, in April. Yeah, it was, it was April. April. It's been that far back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, but it's still this year though. So it's crazy to think that like that. Because it feels like it was so long ago, but you're like, oh, it was, you know, just well, top of this year. We really. were such a good fit, the yeah. three of us. And then one of the concerns that you and I had, Ian, going forward and bringing in guest host and hottie doctor Miranda, you know, filling right. in sometimes. And we, we were kind of worried about bringing somebody in because we didn't want to offend some of our listeners. We didn't want right. to make x Man feel bad about things. But we found a really good fit with Jason. Um, I've known Jason for a little while now. um, And just in our past conversations, I just kept, something kept telling me, you know, hitting with this thing. Right, right. Bring it up to him. Let's see what he, and it just worked. Um, I still think we need to get Sam back. Yeah. Um, We need to continue to bring, you know, uh, Miranda in occasionally. I think the four of us would have some great conversations. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of other things that I'm working on for some guest hosts. Um, yeah. to bring in um hope y'all don't mind but oh, no, I'm down. some of them are going to be kind of interesting <laughs> <laughs> and um it just this podcast is awesome but yeah. well, is there it. is there any news events that stands out in y'all's heads for this last year well mm-hmm. let me let me start off with this i'm gonna yeah, start go off ahead, with this Sony, go ahead, start i off. found this list top stories of 2020 that you may have forgotten about there's one in particular that i Go forgot ahead. happened this Throw year it, it was just the johnny depp thing yes he, he mentioned that in the kit or yeah or he mentioned in the kitchen and i was mm-hmm. like i forgot that was earlier this year that feels like it was right. we did ago. yeah two episodes on the I johnny know. depp yeah, thing. did an original one and then a follow-up and then a I follow-up know. and they both went through the roof it was crazy insane. <laughs> that's crazy and that now you um um what's her name uh amber heard can't sell her house because nobody will buy it <laughs> wow and, and i think I she feel, said i don't feel sorry for i her. heard she she settled for a million dollars with Johnny Depp. Wow. Because she couldn't raise, how much was it? A 
two million, yeah, couple million dollars. She, she settled a million dollars. She can go get a job like everybody else. <laughs> That's right. And live like the common folk. It's like the common folk. <laughs> I can't Good. see anybody wanting to hire now, Good. you know, in the industry that she was in because no. they'll be like too freaked out. Um, 11 day manhunt for corrections officer and escaped inmate. Do we remember that one? I do not. Was really? What was that one? Yeah. Where was that at? Um, I'm not really sure of the city, but it was a pretty big deal because this uh, 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 corrections officer helped somebody escape and then left with him. Oh, what? yeah. That was in, yeah. Uh, I think that was in Alabama. I think so. I think it was in right Alabama. Yes. That Yes. Uh, now that, now you, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't remember that. One yeah. of my favorite stories of this year. You fell in love with an inmate. Yes. <laughs> Missing baby Holly found alive more than 40 years after parents were murdered. What? Yes. Unidentified couple was found beaten and strangled in a wooded area in Houston in 1981. Oh, my gosh. And that was really, really interesting to find, you know, that baby 40 years later. And why doesn't stuff like that really make the news? You, you know, know, to I me, mean, that's that's extremely. What newsworthy. makes the news and what doesn't make the news is, is a pretty interesting right. cycle, how that works. But. Now, this one kind of made the news, but I think it's more in line of social media. U.S. tourist falls into Mount Vesuvius after taking selfie. Oh, no. Oh, Come well, on. that's, that's, yeah. uh, well, yeah, good luck. That's a volcano, by the way. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yikes. Yep. Um, Some people just can't help themselves. Another one. Uh, feds bust alleged mafia gang uh, gambling operations posing as a shoe repair shop and a coffee shop. <laughs> oh, wow. Oops. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah, that was interesting right there. That was in August, and um, that was just that was in New York, obviously. But oh, gosh, you know, yep. How and crazy! There was a murder of uh, Eliza Fletcher um, in Memphis. Mm. Um, abduction and murder. We remember that one. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Missing Michigan family of four disappears. Still has not been found. What? Yep. It's crazy to me how people can go missing in this day and age. There's a lot of people. There's a way. I know. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Where there's a will, there's a way. I know you're right. It just makes it, it just crazy because I'm like, I feel like right now, like if I was to try and disappear, I think it'd be hard for me. <laughs> I feel like I'd be found. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the last one of this little list right here uh, happened on November the 8th. Single ticket wins, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 2.04 million Powerball jackpot. Jeez. Wow. I'd like to win a Why wasn't I'd like that to win us? a jackpot like that. Or Why wasn't that one of us? Uh, I don't know. Supposedly, I, I had a friend of mine uh, told me at one of our uh, Christmas party parties, he was saying his grandma one time was in town for some reason, and she always buys scratch-offs just on a whim or whatever, and apparently she won like $50,000 one oh, wow. time. Yeah, oh, he was like, nice. yeah, he was like, she had kind of... grand, ain't yeah, bad. I'll take that. that. That's what she was, he was saying. He was like, I mean... He didn't understand the scope of it uh, whenever, like, whenever he was younger or whatever. But as an adult now, he's like, I wish I could just, like, walk into a gas station and leave with $50,000. And I was like, man, you're telling me, but you're talking, you're talking uh, about a gamble. Uh, along the lines of news events, uh, some <clears throat> of these things I, I thought were, were actually noteworthy. Uh, you know, it's basically under the title British Turmoil. Uh-oh. The wow. resignation of Boris Johnson. Yes. She, he was succeeded by Liz Truss, mm. which lasted only 45 days. Oh, I was thinking it was like 45 was minutes. Just but the okay. sh- was the shortest tenure of any British prime minister in really? history. And she still makes her um, pension for the rest of her life. Right. Oh, and my God. Now, she what? was succeeded by uh, Rishi Sunak, I believe, if I'm pronouncing his name, which is the first uh, person of color to be okay. prime minister of England. Mm-hmm. Um, which then I'd like to, you know, mention that that was also, it was the death of Queen Elizabeth yeah. too this yeah, year. Yeah, that was a really big one. Really big Yeah, thing. Queen Elizabeth II. So I, I was in Disney when it all, when it all transpired. Oh, that's right. I remember that. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yes. it's crazy. That was really big for us, yeah. And, and then, of course, the thing that's still dominating the news to a degree is the Russia-Ukraine. Yeah, mm-hmm. that happened and, at like the beginning of this year. Right. So, which the United States is pumping a ton of money 
into Ukraine right now. Mm. I just recently, I still think there's something more to that than what I saw some before and after photos of like popular landmarks in Ukraine, like four or five years ago and today. And it's like really sad to look at. Mm -hmm. There's like a lot of stuff's been just like destroyed. Well, they say there's 32 million refugees around the world have fled their country of origin for a variety of reasons for war. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yes. That's crazy. It's, it's, it's world's a mess right now. Okay. I have an interesting one that happened this year and this is slightly biblical. Um, In revelations, one of the pending signs of the apocalypse is the Euphrates drying up. Yes. And in Genesis, um, when God casts out the devil and his soldiers, I think it was four or five demons he cast under the Euphrates in prison cells, and their release upon the earth is part of apocalypse. They're free to roam the earth and do as they please. It, is that Revelation or is that from like the book of Enoch? No, that's actually, it's Revelation and Genesis when God cast the demons down. Well, the, yeah, okay. Well, the demons, yeah, I know that. I was just curious about the mm-hmm. four. I'm not, I I'm not go, sure of the number. I'll have to look back at it. Yeah. But as the Euphrates is drying up, guess what they found at the bottom of it? What? Five cells. Wow. Crazy. That are open. And now. they're supposed to be released to basically cause nothing but problems on That's the right. earth? Well, and they're succeeding <laughs> they're right succeeding now. They're succeeding right now, aren't they? Yeah. Yep. Isn't that interesting, though? You know, just the Euphrates, draw, you know. As if there wasn't enough bad stuff in the world. Thank you. I was, I was fixing <laughs> to say, you know, the Euphrates. Yeah, that, the Euphrates, that's a very a, biblical river. Yes, it sure is. What you got, Ian? You got anything? You? Um, I, I mean, we've touched on a lot of the big stuff that happened this year as far as, like, world things that I remember specifically. For me, the, another big thing that I did was I, like, changed – jobs in a very big way oh yeah i was very comfortable at my at the job that i was at for about two years or so and um really worked hard at doing that through the pandemic and um had an opportunity that kind of came out of nowhere and was not expecting it but was pleasantly surprised and after a lot of deliberation and just like thinking about it and and talking it through with my loved ones and friends and all that stuff, I was like, okay, I guess this is uh, this is the opportunity to take. And I did, and I don't regret it for a minute. It's been nothing but... Um, it's, it, it's one of those moments where even the bad times at the job, I'm still like... I, I'm still excited to go in. Mm-hmm. I'm still excited to keep working because the people around me and mm-hmm. the, the setting and all that kind of stuff it just makes it, uh, makes it what it is. So... Okay. Even on the bad days, they're not that bad. And I'm like, right. I could, it's all good. So all right. I got one more. Unfortunately, it happened very late on New Year's Eve of 2021. Because it, it counts. <laughs> it caused such an uproar for a month that I'm going to count it for this year. Mm-hmm. And that is the death of Betty White. Oh, wow. At 99 right. years old crazy and that was just absolutely insane she was an incredible woman yes she was she loved animals i do know that she was a big proponent of and she loved people yeah she was a very unique person a lot of history she knew a lot of entertainers and yep well i mean one man you being around for 99 years you 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 meet especially at like because because when was she, when, do you, do we know when, she, how old she was and her, she was like doing like TV and film stuff? Well, she I mean, was. I yeah. just remember her more yeah. during, during the, for uh, her, ep, when she was with the Golden Girls. Right, right. The Golden I Girls. I was just saying. Like, what, what was that? Uh, the, the, um, Hollywood Squares. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember that yeah. with those guys and, and that was, she who, was. Who was Betty White's? children i mean what didn't she have a i know she had kids but i'm trying to remember she had a daughter know. that was kind of famous also um you may want to look it up i, I don't know let's say just um but she was also was, um on the mary tyler moore show so she was you know early on in tv right 
So uh, children, yeah, Betty White children. Let's see. She never had kids. Oh, I thought she did. Wow. Hmm. And didn't regret it. <laughs> it says it right there. <laughs> wow. There you go. It, it's really interesting. That, you know, Betty White lives to ninety nine. Um, what was it? Uh, what was the uh, George Burns lived to what a hundred and one? Yeah. And now they're saying that this year, twenty twenty two. American life expectancy is the lowest it has been in two decades. Gosh, that's not I wonder good. why. Right? Because all this crap going on right now. Yeah. I just think I think diets have not helped. Oh, I, that's probably a big thing. I think the kind of food we're eating now is. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've known a lot of people that seem to have been, you know, passing away at fairly young ages it's uh Mm -hmm. i mean you just never know but i mean all we can do is try to take care of yourself the best you can yeah for real you know that's crazy i I, I found another one here that i want to mention that i I think is of note is the uh uh the protests in iran Mm -hmm. over the death of of masha amini I, i think that's her name this was a 20 a 22 year old kurdish Iranian woman, she died in police custody, and she was not. She was arrested for not having her head, oh yeah, properly covered. I now, as you that. know, within Muslim communities, uh, it's very important for women to 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 maintain that their head be covered, and she didn't, and she ended up dying, and it caused a ruckus yeah. in that country, which I think is still ongoing right now. So that's a biggie. Yeah. Um, and then another one that's just kind of common, I think all the, a lot of the COVID restrictions yeah. around the world, a lot of the lockdowns that were in place, a lot of that kind of eased up. And yeah. now it's this coming year. back at the end of now this it year. Now like it might be coming back. It's coming back because right. now all Chinese people coming into America are going to have to be tested. And China is now invoking a massive yeah. testing program yeah, in that's China. That's crazy. Uh, I mean... I mean, I, I get it. I get it to some degree, especially with the being, you know, flu season and stuff like that. Well, this is the first year flu's been here for two years. It You're died right. for two years. It yeah. just this disappeared. Is, it just completely disappeared, and now magically this year it's back. Right, right, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, that kind of threw me for a little bit of a a loop there because you know I, I get a flu shot every year. You know, my doctor when I I go and get it, I've always, but that that whole thing with the flu disappearing for two years kind of really got me thinking. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. And what's going on here? I don't, it can't I, be just coincidence. Right. There was a point in time during 2021 during like the fall, I think of 2021 <laughs> that I'm pretty sure I got the flu. But again, I like nothing. Well, like doctors like, and hospitals didn't get any money for reporting <laughs> the flu. <laughs> exactly. They got extra money reporting have, COVID. I, I had flu like symptoms, but I didn't have like COVID like symptoms but again no one was like no one believed me they're like oh you got covid i was like um i don't think i did though because i never lost my smell i never had like a full i just had i remember having like the same sort of stuff that you get with like a flu i had like achiness i had that whole like the um uh, just all the different it went stuff past that i had a friend of mine whose wife died in a car accident in oregon and on her death certificate it said covid hmm that's messed yeah, up. Yeah, see, I think uh, that I, whole COVID just, thing yeah. got to me a little out of, I just got out of control. Right. Yeah. It became so political. It was hard to talk about anything. It was all any, political. It was hard to talk about anything without, I had someone that disagreed with me, like, fundamentally, but I was like, I'm like, there was a point in time where, like, at the height of it in, like, 2021 or so, when everyone was talking about it, I was like, it's hard to talk about COVID and not bring it into some political spectrum. Well, and the, that's, and, and it she, became and she, political. Well, that's what I was saying. And she was like, no, nah, it's not. And I was like, but you, you, you say that when it's just the two of us here, but I was like, but like you type in anything with, you talk about COVID in any way. And it's like, anyways, we don't got to talk about it anymore. But there's well, like, it when, was like, when, it just, when COVID first happened, um, I used to cough to cover up a fart. <laughs> and then I would fart to cover up a cough when COVID <laughs> happened. So, <laughs> Oh, gosh. I got an interesting little thing here. Um, Google's top searches of 2022. Uh-oh. There you go. That's okay. okay. And, and there's a couple of little lists here. I'll throw them by y'all yeah, if y'all want to hear them. But the first one that really brought my attention was how to help. How to help Ukraine. How to help Ukrainian refugees. 
how to help abortion rights, how to help Ukraine army, how to help Uvalde, how to help Hurricane Ian. Oh, wow. Yep. How to help Puerto Rico, Hurricane Fiona, how to help a dry cough, how to help restless leg syndrome during pregnancy, and how to help toddler with cough. That was the top how to, how to help things, um, from Google searches. Um, another one, interesting one that I thought was recipes, how to make, would that be interesting to y'all? Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Sugo, Cincinnati chili, marry me chicken, What? quick pancake. What chicken? Cincinnati chicken. Cincinnati chicken. Okay. I'm sorry, chili. Cincinnati chili. What's the one? The the other one you just the marry me chicken. Oh, marry me chicken. Marry me chicken is number three. Okay. No idea what that is. Four is quick pancake. Five is mango pie. Six is green goddess salad. And this one I don't know. Uh, Number seven is Jennifer Aniston salad. Wow. Then eight is grinder sandwich. Then (laughs) nine is Bella Hadid sandwich and number 10 is the bear spaghetti wow i've never heard of bear any, spaghetti many yes. of those i have not heard of some of those yeah and wow. um, then some of these actually will come to play from the podcast but who is number one who is andrew tate who is winning the election is number two number wow. three is who is the king of england number four is who is the watcher number five who is alex jones Number six is Jeffrey Dahmer, and we wow. had a wonderful episode yep. about that one. Uh, number seven is who is next in line for the throne. Number eight is who is Amber Heard. Oh, wow. And I love this one because I this is just, I don't know how this person is even famous, but who is Aaron Carter? <laughs> oh, didn't Aaron Carter die? Yes. Aaron Carter was a... Uh, yep. He was, what, 33 or something? Yeah. Kind of young. An and then 10, who is in NATO? Wow. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm surprised another name that hadn't come up is, uh, is you know, the Brittany Griner deal. Yes. That's, I mean, that mm-hmm. happened, it's happened kind of late in the year, but mm-hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that caused a lot of, a lot of news. Yes, it did. Uh, especially with. Leaving they, the Marine who, there. Yeah. I mean, who they, who they traded to get her right. back. I mean. That's messy, they, man. They, that To me, the scales were not probably even with that but you know maybe I, there's a greater there's a greater scheme involved i think that. the greater scheme is all just i'd pu- like to, public I, appearance yes That's all it is. i agree 100 percent. i'm gonna do one more list and i think this is prevalent to what we're doing in the podcast top near me searches okay okay i think okay. this is gonna be y'all are gonna go number one gas prices near me oh right Oh, yeah, that's... Number two, at-home COVID test near me. Three, voting near me. Four, early voting near me. Wow. Five, PCR test near me. Six, COVID booster near me. This one threw me for a loop. Number seven, Easter egg hunt near me. Wow. <laughs> Number eight, where to vote near me. Nine, concerts near me. Number 10, N95 masks near me. Wow. wow, a lot of COVID. Yeah, yeah that's why of, that's why I wanted to go ahead and do this. A lot, this. A lot, lot of COVID, just, yeah, lot of COVID, COVID stuff, stuff in there. In there. I mean, and, and voting. A lot yeah, of voting. COVID lot of voting. and voting. Yeah. Yep. A sprinkle of uh, well, I Easter mean, concerts. I mean, and, there was so much hoopla leading up to the midterms. Yeah. So I could see why uh, yeah. the election, uh, you know, oh, searches yeah, yeah. would be kind of big. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. That's you know, crazy, man. Another thing that's happened this year, guys, it affects everybody. Inflation is starting to go up. Oh man, you're starting. Not, it, I have it, it, interest rates of you know they've tried to to try to check this inflation. They're they're raising interest rates, and I'm I hear in by mid January they're going to raise it another quarter point. Cool. So whoever's trying to buy a house, they better <laughs> buy it now. I was going to, but. Um, I don't think I am anymore. Well, Miranda and I were looking for a house, and we realized right now with the way the rates are, you're going to lose $100,000 in a house. For the same amount of money and the same amount of, of note every month, yep. you're going you're gonna to be able to get $100,000. If, if you're in a $100,000 house now and you want to keep everything the same, you'd be in a $200,000 house. Yep. 
So it's not even worth it to us to even no, think about this it. This is not a good time. Yeah. And the last time this happened was when the sarcastically wonderful Jimmy Carter was in office and the inflation and the interest interest rates were 24%. Mm. <laughs> I use it, and I, I, and I, gas prices were through the roof. Yes, I dimly remember that time. It gas was, shortages were so bad that we, people were really getting shot in the gas lines. You could only get 10 gallons, and it was really bad. It was really, really bad. I hope we don't go back to that, but I'm telling you what, some of these policies they're trying to push – and I'm telling you, a lot of this, you know, energy shortages that people, you know, these power outages, the blackouts that are occurring. I don't remember the amount of blackouts occurring that I have just recently with, well, the 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 the, the, the demand is outstripping the, the supply. I'm like, well, we've, we've always had bouts of very bad cold weather or bouts of very hot weather where you need it. AC or you need it, but it seemed like we're just having more of that lately. Maybe it's just my perception. I just Maybe. don't recall this much. You want to know what I saw today for the first time what? in our area? And I didn't know they were doing this. Um, by On one of our big main roads downtown, um, I saw them installing uh, like 15 new Tesla chargers, Tesla superchargers. Okay. I just I and, it's, don't. and it was it was like across the way from like a for like a supermarket and it's like I, I I wouldn't be surprised if that thing you're talking about is like what we've what we've heard a whole bunch about in the past is like the demand outweighing the supply of like there's a lot of people with Teslas in our area there's a lot of people like probably sucking up more power than they normally would have and that's causing a an, an inflation on on the consumer end and and our uh our grid isn't up to snuff for it yet, but we're like, just keep upgrading, keep on. Well, my favorite one up. is is California bans all petroleum vehicles by what twenty thirty five, and then oh now God. they're telling their people don't charge your electric cars because <laughs> of crazy. the rolling blackouts. Well, they might as well just go back to horse and buggy because <laughs> that's about where we're going if mm-hmm. we keep going. Uh, but the methane, Jason, we can't. Have, I'm yeah, was it the cow farts <laughs> and, and stuff they talked about? Right. Yeah, we can't have that. So, uh, well, mm-hmm. let's just go back to the caveman days, mm-hmm. and we're not doing anything. So, right. just uh, go ahead and buy a bike. Yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah, I think we're going to be there pretty soon. You know, I, I just think some of this is this guy. If our if our area had more like um. Was it so vast? It was like a little more densely packed and had like actual like um, uh, sidewalks or like bike paths. I would so do that. But the yeah. problem is, like, it just doesn't. I, just, I mean, our climate here is just so. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, you could not, if you had to dress up, I mean, you can't function in our climate when it's, when it's 95 degrees you're right. with. You know, 60, 70% humidity. I mean, you just right. you can't. You can't do it. Uh, you know, maybe out west where the humidity is like at 15%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, you can maybe get away with it, but I don't think that's that's practical. Right. Man, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. We had a real hot summer this year. We did have a hot it summer. It was like August. And it was sep- dry. Yeah, August and September this year. I remember being... <clears throat> Hotter than I, excuse me, hotter than I imagined it was going to be. It just kept going up. Yeah, but didn't we do a podcast <laughs> a couple of weeks ago about yeah. it's cold in here? But that was yeah. for one week. It, well, that's the crazy part. Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 not even a week, like three days. It got below freezing, and it stayed that way for maybe three full days. Whereas it felt like a few weeks was like 90-something. Yeah, well, now we're back up to 75 degrees. Oh, ugh. Ugh. Something else that kind of caught my attention this year, too, is the uh, corporate consolidation causing record inflation in food prices. Miranda and I were talking the other day about how our food costs have doubled this year. Yeah. And what we spend just in a weekly or biweekly or bi monthly budget has doubled. I have a, I have and, some. and then you hear all the, I'm sorry, you hear all these stories of these corporations and Bill Gates <laughs> and all these people spending so much money on farmland. Yeah. And then 34 or 35 food processing plants have magically burned down in America this year. And nobody's reporting that. Crazy. 
So well, what's going on with that? You know, that you're saying something. Uh, I saw a show. I'm trying to find it here right now. It's called, it was, it was on the Vice Network, and it's called While the Rest of Us Die. Oh, wow. And they have an episode on there about just what you just said about what's going on with the U.S. food production. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's very disturbing right now of of where the direction is heading when it comes to food. There are very few any more independently owned farms that produce Mm -hmm. food that the farmer controls the animals. Now everything is corporately controlled, and the farmer can't do anything. It, it, it's it's really to be honest, which it's 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 scary. That's uh, well, if you I get have... a chance, I, I you know our listeners out there, if you get a chance, uh, check that out. Uh, that's a very it, it's a very it's an eye opener of right. of the state of of U.S. food production right now. Yes, it is. Wow. Yes, it is. I have some friends still in Canada, and they were we were talking about. Um, one of our favorite places to go was A N W, like the root beer brand, has restaurants up there, and they have a lot of restaurants. And it's it, the reason why it's so popular is because they use locally sourced stuff. So whenever I would go there, like their beef was all from Saskatchewan where I lived at, their chicken was all like fresh, um, and uh, was locally sourced as well as like their uh, produce and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I would order a chicken sandwich and it would be the best chicken sandwich I've had in a long time from like a fast food place. And it may have been a little more expensive than like other, like a McDonald's for instance up there in Canada. Mm -hmm. Um, But supposedly after talking to some friends of mine, um, they said that they went there recently and inflation has like really kicked their butt in a whole new way Um, to kind of, convert it to our currency it would be like going to a fast food place and spending give or take uh 10 to 12 dollars and like for a meal and then all of a sudden it being like closer to 15 dollars is Mm -hmm. kind of what it is so for them it was like um their dollars a little bit higher than ours uh in or, or i guess lower technically in value so for them they would spend he was saying he brought his girlfriend there and um, he spent 40 something dollars Canadian, which again is like 30 something for us for like a fast food place. And so it was like, so I could just imagine, you know, spending $35 at like a, at a fast food place here. It's like, that seems just for two meals. Like the just, only time yeah, I would so. do that was when McDonald's comes out with the Mac rib every year. <laughs> now, see, I could, I could order me two or three yeah. of those and eat those. Cause I know right. they're not coming back. Right. But oh, it, and that's another news thing too. McDonald's. I don't know if it's part of their advertising said this may be the last time you get a Mac rib. Oh, wow. So it they're may doing be, away with they're it. doing away with it. So that may be a part of that marketing ploy or it just may be, guess that's what? Sure. That's going. I, I think fast food in general though. I don't know what the, the latest on sales when it comes to those kind of places. I, I, I thought there was like a decline. Oh, I, think I think some people is. are. I think some people are getting smart when it comes yeah. to their their dietary choices. My, mm-hmm. my my youngest brother more conscious of of what's going in their body. My youngest brother Ethan, um, he is the one that was diagnosed with Crohn's around the time uh, before the before summertime, I think. Mm-hmm. And he was saying now, um, because of his digestive situation, he's like, I have found it more cost effective and better for me to order a carry out at a sit down restaurant. And he's like, I may spend a little more money, but I know it's going to be good food that is like enough food to fill me up. And it's not going to irritate to my stomach. Right. He's like, I would go, he was saying before that he was like, I would go to like a fast food restaurant and, and like the prices are like being hiked up now. And he was saying like, it, because of his digestive situation, be a little more sensitive than it was. He was saying that like, it just it didn't sit with him well. And, and so now he was like, I mean, you know, I don't see the reason why I can't just go, you know, to all these different, uh, uh, like, like, uh, like dine in, sit down restaurants and just order carry out from them. Mm-hmm. And he has been, and he's like, and it's probably, like I said, it's probably, uh, I think the, it, the quote that he said, uh, specifically was, 
I guess whether I like it or not, I'm cleaning up my diet a little bit <laughs> <laughs> or, or having well, a little you, little better food. With, then, with that, uh, my lactose intolerance or Crohn's disease or something, you have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want to have a normal life, you right. have to change certain things. Right. Um, and, and that's kind of a, a neat little thing for Miranda and I. I'm on um, a diabetes drug called Mongerno, and I've lost a good bit of weight. I think everybody can kind of see that. Right, right. My A1C is shot down through the roof, but it also makes me not want to eat as much. Okay. So when we go out to eat, we can now either split a meal. Save some money. And save some money. Or right. I can get two meals out of it and have lunch the next day and, right. and extend yeah. our costs that way. Mallory and I would do that at um, Texas Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. I would get like, I would probably get like one size up steak than like I normally would eat. And then between the free rolls we get, the two sides and like a little bit bigger steak, mm-hmm. we could sh- we could just share the meal and right. not spend as much money. And yep. so, and again, a lot of times, like you know, uh, depending on what sides we get or how much bread we eat or whatever, like I mean, you know, we're mm-hmm. usually can clean our plates off and we're you know half but the we price. Also, we also did a. Um, episode on how much do you tip and service oh, yeah. and things like yeah. that. That was a good episode. That, that's when you know you have a good server who doesn't care that you're splitting the check. Right. You know, the, the meal. Because a lot of them go, that's their money, that's their tip, right, right, that's right. blah, blah, blah. But that's when you know you have a good server, too, who does not care. Yeah. And who encourages it. Right. I'll I tip them more. I, I will. I'll tip them more. Right. Well, we won't have to get onto a long conversation. That was a good episode. It was a good episode. I I listened to it. That was before my time uh, on the show, (laughs) but uh, I did listen to it. And I'm like, because I tip, I actually tip very well because I eat out a lot. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, uh, I tip well because I go to certain restaurants that I want, when I walk in, I want them to know my name. Yeah. And because I usually sit at the bar. Right. And I, I want them to, to know exactly what I want to drink and, right. you know, so have, have a good I, idea I, of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and I just I always have because, you know, I, I had a sister that, that was in that field uh, yeah. when she was younger and uh, they work hard and they yeah. don't really make any money. That's where they make their no, money on tips yeah. and tips. So yeah. I get it. You're right. That's uh very right. I recently had somebody that um, kind of went above and beyond. I, I, I remember it was just something little, but like just uh, had a cool conversation with me and just, um, just pleasant to talk to and was really, you know, uh, um, just had a great personality and just had a, even though I could tell that this person was not having a, it was like having a very stressful, very busy day, still had a good disposition and a good, uh, pleasant outlook and was just being very happy and very talkative. And I was like, you know, I'll mm-hmm. throw a little extra your way for, you know, sure. You know, a, a day like that. So <laughs> anyways, well, this has been a very interesting year. Um, we've had a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Um, Ian, I've known you <laughs> absolutely forever. <laughs> right. Right. Um, Jason, I've known you for a couple of years now and I just, I'm, I'm glad we're doing this. I'm looking forward to the next year. Right. I'm looking forward to see where this podcast goes. Um, our listeners seem to like what we're doing. Right, right. And, um, <laughs> yeah. We get some pretty yeah. good feedback from them. Uh, is um, what, what are we looking forward for next year? Is, oh, is there anything? I, I have, remember, remember last year we even did an episode, but on our end of the year uh, episode, I said, say after me, we're walking into the best year yeah. of our life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, then we did a podcast over yeah. that too. So right. um, are we walking, can we walk into the next year, the best year of our life? Or what yeah. are we looking at? I definitely have a few more places I want to travel to. There's some cool ideas. Some of them may not come to fruition, but some of them may. Um, there's a few places I want to travel to that uh, I'm not going to say anything right now. Um, you don't want to jinx it? No, I don't want to jinx it right now because okay. there, there's still plans. There's a couple of them that that really may happen. Um, I there's There's so many things I want to do. And we're apparently we're going to get to try Kopi Luwak. I, yeah, yeah, I'm so going to try Kopi I, Luwak I, I, coffee. That is one of the things. Matter of fact, I am ordering it tonight. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to pull the trigger. Did it say how big of a bag it was? It's 16 ounces. One pound. Okay, that's not One bad. pound. So I'm going to buy it. I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to leave it here. Okay. 
So this is going to be so. Yeah, and I will make it special for you as many times as you want. Awesome. <laughs> I'll, 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 that's well. awesome. We get to tr- scratch off a bucket <laughs> yeah. list thing. And you you get you you order what you want. And, yeah, right, right. I will. And, I got I got I already have one in mind. I have one that's just a good staple of mine that uh, I know I can get easily, and it's and I can get it French press ground, and it's going to be. Well, okay. It's just a good. It's a good dark roast. It's how good how ground. how do you do the Kopi Luwak? Is that going to be a French press, a ground, uh, yeah. an so espresso? He, uh, so Jason what? Jason had gave me a few different options of what they grind it on. Okay. Um. So to be honest, I think what's probably best is to do whole bean because it's going to be the freshest. Once you grind the bean, right. um, is when uh. Depending on how it's packaged, it, it may. So, yeah. being the mad scientist coffee master, do you yeah. have you have your own grinder here in the studio? Uh, Would we be no. able to grind I, it? The up thing or? is, I want to, but a lot of times the ones that I want to get are a little expensive. I have like a little. Um, uh, I don't have a grinder here personally. I want to get one. I, mm-hmm. I really need to specifically. The espresso machine that I got has a grinder built in, right. which is great. Um, but it's but, an espresso grinder, it, right, so it's going to exactly. grind it one way. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, if I bought, and I say I bought the bag with just the beans, right? Could I bring it to like a Whole Foods that has a coffee grinder and grind it to? Uh, you can, um, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, you would, there is a potential for like cross contamination. Yes, uh, I don't want to do, do, do that. Right, right, right. So if you want like the real experience, so th- that's why I had said, uh, like, if get you, the French press. Right. If you, there's like two sides of the same coin, is if you want like the freshest, like most raw experience, probably getting the whole bean because it can probably last longer. You can grind it to the amount you want if you had a grinder. I don't personally have one, so I can't really recommend doing that. So that's why I would say. So you'd have to buy a coffee grinder, right? So um, just just do the French press, right? And right. we'll just have to drink it very quickly. Yeah, no, 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 you don't, you don't. You don't have to. I mean, like I said, but to keep on, it in the probably what you in the fridge. No, I I have like coffee preservation devices that okay. we can okay. like suck the air out of a like a container. Mm-hmm. So I can I can clean one out, and then whenever you give me the coffee, we can put it in there and there preserve it for okay. a long amount of time. Right. Does it help um, to refrigerate or freeze coffee beans? Um, you can uh, again. If it is a whole bean, you can ref- you can freeze it, okay. and it would and it really does like stop the aging process. Refrigerating it doesn't really do okay. a whole lot for it. Once you grind it, though, <clears throat> freezing it really doesn't do anything. Okay. They, like you, the um, it's all about oxygen. It, it, it is and uh, oxygen obviously ages things and mm-hmm. uh, and kind of takes away all the brilliant stuff that like fresh ground coffee. Mm-hmm. has to offer okay even if you do freeze it it just doesn't uh mm-hmm. again there's probably again to the average person probably doesn't matter if it's already pre-ground coffee you can freeze it but that's not really going to change anything mm-hmm. uh, but freezing it really works for whole okay. bean coffee well, so there anyways. we go but yeah so something I'm else excited. we learned on the for podcast. 2023 I'm yeah gonna have this this is the year of coffee, coffee. yeah <laughs> there's a handful of things i want to try i got i got gifted a couple of different bourbons a couple of whiskeys for Christmas, so I'm excited to try some new things. Uh, you know, I got I got some cool recommendations from some friends of mine on different champagnes to try. So, like, this is I get there's a whole lot of new stuff that mm-hmm. I'm excited about in the in the new year. Um, okay, what about you, Jason? Anything so. you're looking forward to this year, other well, than this wonderful podcast? Uh, well, <laughs> believe, believe it or not, uh, 2023 will probably see uh, uh, my retirement. Okay. From my my current job. Yeah, you and, told me uh, about that. So that my my career is rapidly coming to an end. Um, this career. This career that I'm in, and and we'll see what life care you know has for me after that. But uh, it's been nearly thirty years. Wow. When that rolls around, so it's enough. That's enough time doing what I've been doing. And, and I uh, know what you do, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for what you've done for 30 years, and I really appreciate it. Well, That's thank, awesome. You're welcome. It's been a it's been a very fulfilling. Uh, I don't regret any of it. Uh, you know, it's like anything. You have your ups and downs. Of course, and, yeah. Uh, but the the job has been good to me. There we go. So, That's awesome. I recently had a discussion with some friends of mine as like a little farewell on the last end of the podcast, and I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again because I've just talking about it with a friend of mine kind of puts it into perspective is sometimes in life um, you need to get sick every now and then to appreciate what it is to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes 
you know, going without um, really puts into perspective what you do have and makes you appreciate things. Um, and then sometimes losing something really makes you appreciate what you have. And uh, just think about that. You know, life has its ups and downs. Things have its its uh, positives and negatives, but a lot of times just realize that, you know, sometimes that may happen. It's probably for a season and, you know, life will move on and you'll have, you know, other positive moments or things mm-hmm. or stuff in your life. So just keep that in mind. And also this will drop, this podcast will drop um, the second. Right. So it will be the day after New Year's. Um, we hope that you had a amazing holiday season yeah. with your family. Hope um, you have all your fingers. <laughs> 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 no bottle rocket wars. No M80s. And that's yes. right. right. And um, we hope you were safe. We hope you enjoyed your family. Right. And we hope you rejuvenated some energy to go into the next year and have the best year of our lives. Right. That's for everybody. Right. Absolutely. Well, for all those out there who are looking to get in touch with us or give us some suggestions, you can go to facebook.com slash retrospect pod, or you can go to our link tree forward slash retrospect pod. And, and again, just so that way we can get it out there. Cause I don't think I've said this explicitly on the podcast. Everything of ours is going to be retrospect pod. Uh, I believe I just updated our YouTube channel as well. Okay. So if awesome. you just do at youtube.com, I think it's slash at retrospect pod brings you right to the YouTube channel. So everything we have is all retrospect pod. Um, so. One other thing too, in life, um, on our social media and in our lives, we tend to share a lot with people and we don't like asking y'all to share, but if you're going to share, maybe in the future, if you would just continue or consider, um, sharing us or talking about us and trying to help yeah. us get out there in the future, if you would just, con- just maybe one time, just send us to some friends and, you know, get us out there and help us, we would appreciate it. Um, yeah. We're just trying to get our, our easy going, lighthearted message out there yeah, to right. the world. Yep. Right. And so maybe if you would just consider in the future, share us. Yeah, please. Like, yeah, put us out there. Please. Help us out. If you enjoy us, well, let's let's let other people enjoy right. us too. If you would just consider that, we would really appreciate that. And right. also let us know what you want us to talk about. Yeah. Because we take your comments too. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You may have some ideas that we're not thinking <laughs> yeah, about. Right, right. So mm-hmm. you know I love it. Let us know. Well, until next time, thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, everyone, and God bless. Peace.